What's up guys? Welcome back to another studio vlog. It's Jess here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I just wanted to share some things that have been going on. So this is going to be a very action-packed video on things that I'm working on, things that I'm doing. I'm going to show you guys some new things that I got in the mail and we're going to have lots of fun. So let's get started. I hope you guys are doing well. I've just been super busy and just creating lots. So I wanted to share some new things and new projects that I'm gonna be taking on. And I'm gonna show you guys some sketchbook stuff, a new illustration I'll be starting as well. I actually have so much that I need to do. So I'm going to get started. It's the morning right now and I just got up, got ready and I'm ready to take on the day and be super productive. As you can see, my studio assistant has come to help me out today. She's literally just performing for you guys right now. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jessica. I'm an illustrator and content creator here on YouTube, and I create videos in my sketchbook. I do art challenges. I paint big, large paintings, which I'm gonna show you guys today. And yeah, um, if you guys like illustration and art and crafts and creating things, then feel free to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Do you guys like see this right now? <laughs> She literally just wants to be pet all day, literally just wants always to be pet and always wants attention. I'm convinced that she's a dog, to be honest. By the way, guys, I got a new microphone and sneak peek of it right here. I hope you guys hear me better. I think that it's a nice little upgrade. I had a really good microphone, but I just thought of trying something new and I'm liking it so far. So let me know what you guys think. My plan for today is to work on my large painting. I'm also going to design some more stickers, work in my sketchbook. This is going to be lots happening today, so I wanted to bring you guys along and show you a little bit of my day as an artist and what I do full time. So yeah, I made a quick uh, short list on things that I have to tackle today. So um, we're going to pack some orders, we're going to unbox some things. I have some new sticker designs I'm thinking of making, so I'm gonna show you. So I wanna know what you guys think. Big shop date um, coming up. Let's see what else. Um, oh, we're gonna do some organization in the studio. And I have a lot of new ideas for organization and art supplies and kind of like making everything. I got another shelf back here. So we're gonna talk about little things that I did to improve the studio and just ways that I can make things more convenient to me when I'm creating. So guys, it's time to get right to work. thing that I'm tackling today is packing some orders that I recently got. I actually had a mix of things of stickers and bookmarks and prints to do so I'm just following up with what the orders say and just packing up some of my stickers. These are the flame hands. This is part of my 100 hand series. My hand stickers seem to be a huge hit on the shop and I will be restocking all the other ones that have sold out. But after I've packed those I catch up on printing any postcards or prints that were ordered. What? 
This customer actually ordered my Inktober postcards. I sell these separately, but I feel like they make an awesome little set. And I'm thinking of making this like a little postcard set for my shop update. So let me know what you guys think. When I package these, I always have a protective sleeve over along with a cardboard piece in the back for extra protection when we are shipping. I'm all about personalized thank you cards, so I always include one for my customers and my patrons, but I'm all about providing a nice experience when you guys are unpacking your orders. I know I love packages and whenever I open one, I love the sweet little touch that you can add to it. While I'm packing other orders, I'm also spending time printing out some of the fruit head prints that were ordered. These are part of my fruit head series that I did in October. I did one acrylic painting per day. And I have to say it's one of my favorite series so far. And you guys definitely seem to love that on Instagram, so I decided to make some fine art prints. And they're still up in the shop going strong. I ship all my packages, including my stickers and prints and postcards in the rigid envelopes. I add a do not bend sticker on top as well as my little logo. And now, once all the packages are done, I begin to paint. Are you guys ready to see the new giant painting that I've started? Here is some progress. Here is some progress on the latest, largest painting that I've ever done. Today, I really want to focus on this area down here. I decided to start this giant painting with absolutely no plan, just go from my intuition, and I'm really loving the way it's coming out so far. Now I'm going to set up my palette, zone out, and begin painting. spent a few hours painting and now it's time to bring you guys on an unboxing journey. I have a few things I want to share with you guys today and the first package was a surprise from Angelus. They're a company that produces acrylic leather paint. They saw my shoe design video and sent me a sweet care package with a bunch of little goodies inside. So this is a shout out to them and thank you so much for this warm little gift. I also wanted to show you another surprise package. This is from 17 London and how cute are these backpacks? Fun fact, I am a big lover on backpacks and 17 London is a company based in UK. They sent me two of these and I absolutely love the colors are incredible. They reached out and wanted to know if I wanted to do some paintings on top of the backpacks and design them. And after taking a look at their bags, I was immediately in love and I figured that they would be perfect for when I go urban sketching. They have a lot of awesome pockets and zippers for my art supplies. I'm super stoked to paint on top of these and now have to think of a design and I wanted to share my excitement with you guys. So huge thank you to 17 London for these. 
I have one more little package and maybe two more to show you guys of something that I'm really excited about. These are vintage sketchbooks and I love like the vintage look so let's unbox these and see what they look like. This is my first time touching them and um, this company reached out to me and they actually asked me to take a look at these and maybe I'm going to create a series in these. So I'm really excited to see what these are all about and let's take a look. Oh my goodness, these are so beautiful. Wow, the leather bounding is wow. So you guys see my face right now from seeing the pages inside. I was shocked and first impressions, it's such a beautiful journal. I'm gonna brainstorm on what I can make inside. I love this paper and I'm really excited to try it out. These are, by the way, by Nomad Crafts Co. And I'm thinking of doing a separate video where I try out the paper and perhaps start a series on it. Thank you so much to Nomad Crafts Co. for sending me these. I am really, really excited and can't wait to try them out. So after taking in all of that beautiful skies um, outside my studio, I got back to the desk. Here's actually my view that I wanted to show you guys. It definitely inspires me to work and keeps me happy throughout the day. But now I'm going to sit down and work in my sketchbook and continue experimenting with these Faber-Castell polychromos. In last week's video, I colored a real-time drawing using the color pencils of the husky right there and today I'm gonna work on coloring in some more and I'm going to be making these into stickers I think they're coming out really cute I actually love the way the raccoon came out I have been working on these for the past few days and today I want to finish them off so that I can finally make them into stickers I was playing around with expressions for these and this little cat was actually inspired by my cat I don't think I've actually shared that I have a second cat with you guys. He's actually right here. He comes into my studio periodically to look for Matilda and try and bother her and usually comes in asking for food. <laughs> and while I was filming the most magical moment, very rarely does this happen where they're hanging out next to each other. It was so cute. And I'm so glad I was able to catch it for you guys to see. But anyways, getting back to sketching, I'm just going to continue to work on these little animal drawings. I was having fun with the color pencils and I'm just adding some little highlights with my Uni Posca pen. And then I felt like it was missing a little heart and just some love at the top. You know, I'm always preaching love. And then it felt complete. So I just want to show you guys another illustration that I'm going to be working on. I did some color studies here, so uh, I want to share with you guys a new little illustration I'm going to do. You guys probably remember this sketchbook tour. Uh, it's one of my favorites and probably remember this sketch. I'm going to find it here. 
this little one and I decided to finally turn it into a color uh, illustration and I wanted to add it to my portfolio online so uh, here are the little color compositions that I did and I did these in gouache I'm still thinking about which one I want to do because I actually love them all. I think that they're all very sweet and I wanted to think about how I can change the mood so that I have an option and I know how each mood is going to basically look. So I created uh, four different options and I love them all. It's going to be really hard to choose. So I'll show you guys and maybe you guys can vote in the comments and I'll definitely have it also on Instagram. So be sure to follow me on there if you haven't already done so. Also, fun fact, you know it's so weird? I was actually just online and I have put on this hoodie, comfy, comfy hoodie, and I just found out it's his birthday today. How cool is that? Totally coincidental. I think it's super weird, but also super cool at the same time. But yeah, I guess I'm on... Uh, celebrating van gogh's birthday today and yeah anyways let's take a closer look at the color comps and i'll tell you guys a little bit of what i'm thinking about and the plan for the piece so as i've mentioned before i originally done the sketch a few months back in my sketchbook of this little character that was inspired by me after going to a yoga class and I wanted to turn it into a children's illustration in color at this point, so I printed out the sketch in a grid of four, and then I just painted with gouache over it. I also wrote some notes about the different moods and color schemes that I'm going for for each piece, and I'm really loving the way this one's coming out. I just love the mood, but I also like this one so much, and the bottom right one also looks great. I'm definitely going to try and communicate as much happiness as I did in this piece. And yes, I will try to have prints for these on my shop update, so stay tuned. But if you have a favorite of these color compositions, let me know in the comments below which one you like the most. I'm definitely torn, but I'm also really excited to start this one. <sighs> so it's been a long day and super productive. I got so much done. But tomorrow's another day of lots of productivity. Uh, super tired, but I think that we're going to call it a day. Yeah. So yeah, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. So much for being here. So much for all your support. And I really appreciate each and every one of you. Stay tuned for the shop update. I'm going to be actually closing the shop to relaunch some new stickers, some new prints lots of brand new stuff and all my stickers actually sold out so maybe i am thinking of doing some new designs with holographic stuff so we'll see she saw a bird outside and now she's all her attention was on the bird you're a cutie baby matilda and i are wishing you guys an amazing night and day and week wherever you are and i'll see you guys in the next video bye